Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Niche, a genetic survival game. A big thank you to Sugar over on Twitter for this beautiful picture of our goddess Animeme, as well as Elster Bay Cosplay on Instagram for this picture of Meme herself. And the memes never die, apparently, in this pack, because in the last episode we managed to find this little bundle of joy. Kolara actually named her daughter after her mother it would be, so Meme right here is the granddaughter of our original Meme with the panda patterns, and it is a little bit disappointing that she doesn't even have the panda patterns in her genetics, it's not even hidden away down here, but I'm sure eventually we'll be able to uh, kind of work that back into this line of the pack. and. And not to mention, like, that is probably, like, the sweetest thing that has happened in this game so far, that Kolara actually named her daughter after her mother, kind of, like, right after she passed away, too. So it's almost like it was still fresh in her memory and she wanted to just honor her mother in some way. And oh my gosh, it looks like they're holding claws over here. Kolara and Kuvan, who are, of course, mates, who are making their way over to the savannah tiles in this portion of the island so that we can hopefully find some nests for them to settle down in, or at least, um, spread their family over here because I have a feeling they're actually going to be passing away in this episode. Kolara is getting very old and uh, Kuvan is not as old as she is, but he's probably going to be getting uh, very close up there pretty soon too. And then, of course, we had so much drama up here in the north when Kois managed to find a carnivore looming out in the grasses over here, the great wanderer Kois, and she did manage to take him down all by herself as kind of her last stand as we were moving Sira and her family up here to um, stand on this bunny burrow because they, of course, are continuing to live out their family's legacy as bunny hunters. We're currently moving Sira's mate to Duke here up here as well, but he is literally, I think, the slowest member of the pack with his um, two, I want to say. Yeah, two in speed. He is taking so long to get up there, but hopefully once he does, we'll be able to sit him right over here somewhere so he can help protect Sira while she's doing her job. And then Rovan's going to take up the uh, duty of exploring the land to find nests once again. I'm also working on moving Mianami up there because we do want them to breed in the future, Mianami and Rovan, because I believe if we breed them together, we should be able to keep the poison fangs in their line as well as possibly unlock the panda patterns yet again. So we'll keep that in our thoughts as we continue on. Um, right now, I think we have to skip the turn because there's a ton of meat that we still need to collect, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, most of these little critters are out of turns right now. So we'll go ahead and let them start fresh. A fresh new day, what? What on earth? Oh my goodness. So wait a second, this is Kukirk here, and he's the one with the toxic body, and it looks like even though the carnivore didn't technically eat him, he just swiped at him, he was still poisoned. So that's good to know. Kukirk here doesn't have to technically die, completely die for um, him to poison the carnivore. So oh my goodness, me enemy, good thing you are up here because you are definitely going to need to help out um, little Kukirk here since he can't exactly attack on his own. So you can go ahead and swipe that guy right there and then let's see new Duke, you could help out but we do need you by this berry bush is there anyone else who could possibly help us and i know a few of them have passed away too which is really really sad all of our um, last generation are starting to get too old and they're passing away in the process so let's see um i think i am actually going to have to have um new Duke come up here if he even can he's actually really slow too oh no that's not going to work and you are so slow as well okay let's see well i mean he's almost done and he is poisoned anyway so maybe if we just scoot him back and slap him once there we go okay so then we can pick up the meat with Kukirkir right here. And unfortunately, that brings Tadukir a little bit further away from his family than I wanted. But we'll get him there eventually, guys. And oh my gosh, what are you doing? You're sitting on the skeleton of our old pack member. That is not good. You should get off of there, please. If he gets a little bit closer, we can at least uh, snatch him up. And we need to gather up these berries too. Just a couple of berries left. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't rained again, so we do just have a couple of them to pick. But I would rather pick them than let the bunnies get them at this point. We are doing pretty good on food though. We still have 40 pieces of food and that is uh, much better than we were doing before. We haven't gotten low on food in quite a while actually. And I believe there's some meat over here. Yeah, there's some meat that uh, Kuvan actually managed to catch. So he'll pick that up and then I think we'll start moving these guys a little bit further toward the uh, savannah tiles. Let's just make sure that there's no more bunnies that we can snag. Um, I don't think there is. So we'll go ahead and start um, moving them up this way. 
and we'll have her peek in this grass right here. And then Kuvan, you can kind of like leapfrog this way and peek in that grass. So there we go. So that might help us a little bit. Um, okay, so there's a berry bush and a bunny, of course, because where there are berry bushes, there are always bunnies. So that's a good sign, I guess. Maybe there is a little place where we can settle down in that area. And Meme is talking to this bunny, it looks like, but you are going to become our lunch so we can um, keep the food supply very, very high. I think what I would also like to do is swap Neuroduke back out for LeMay, because of course LeMay is also one of the daughters of Rear, so I would like her to take up her position as bunny duty member, once again, the lead bunny duty member of this side of the pack, so Neuroduke can kind of uh, spend his time elsewhere. In fact, I think I might place him closer to these berry bushes because Vanku is getting very, very old, and Kierduke should be spending his time breeding with Anair a little bit more since um, I think their immunity genes line up a little bit better for how I would like to uh, kind of take immunity gene B out of the sum situation because his immunity gene D is on the bottom slot. So I'm hoping that that means that it'll kind of override immunity gene B in hers as long as we um, inherit this one on their children. So I'm going to continue breeding these two until Anair unfortunately passes away because she is also getting quite old. But yeah, Vanku is not going to be lasting much longer. So we'll just bring Neuroduke over here to use his uh, berry paw to pick up these berries, especially if it rains. And LeMay, you can once again stand over here on this bunny burrow and catch bunnies for us. And I see they're hopping all over the place over here, so I have to keep an eye on them too. But let's bring this little baby out of the nest, little Rico, who is unfortunately sick with her double berry paws and her panda patterns are locked away in her genetics. And she also has um, immunity gene D. That was one of the children who did manage to inherit that one. So we want to keep a close eye on her. Unfortunately, her lifespan is shorter than uh, most of her siblings, so we're going to have to make sure that we breed her as soon as possible once she grows up. And let's bring Kierduke over here so that he can breed once again with an heir. That might be actually be the last baby that they have too, so fingers crossed that it ends up being one with um, the immunity gene D on it. Let's pick up these berries too with Zaram for her very last turn because she is certainly not going to uh, last through the night. And then let's see, Rovan, why don't you come over here and start exploring a little bit more? Let's see, where do we want to go? Um, I suppose we could work our way down to the shore. Let's go this way a little bit. There we go. We'll make um, little pathways through the grass like we've been doing um, all throughout the island over here. We have these little like tile wide pathways weaving in between all of the tall grass. So we'll continue doing that. Um, is there anyone else I can kind of spread out over here? Because they are all very, very clustered. We have Kolako. She has poison fangs. She has panda patterns hidden away in her genetics. Um, well, why don't we use you to kind of scoot over here, peek in this grass so it's a little bit more um, protected from predators, especially since it's so close to our nests. And let's see, how about you, Coco? You are still a little bit young, and I'm worried if a carnivore did leap out that it would just completely shatter you. So I'm not sure about you. But once you grow up, you should be able to help out um, Kolako as well. And I think that actually might be it for this turn. We'll go ahead and skip the turn unless, um, well, we could have Anna Isri sit right here and kind of peek in this grass so that it's a little bit more protected from bunnies <laughs> because the bunnies are also just as much of a menace as the carnivores at this point. So let's go ahead and skip the turn now. Oh my gosh, so many of them dropping like flies too. And poor little Rico is still so sick with her common cold. Oh gosh, that's so upsetting too because she, of course, does not have the immunity gene problem. So I'm not really sure why she's so sick. I don't think um, she even has the big body, so that wouldn't lower her um, immunity in the desert area. So I'm really not sure why she's sick. I guess it's just a, a bad draw, some bad luck for our pack at the moment that she managed to get sick as soon as she was born. But let's see, any little bunnies for me to pick off yet? Um, it doesn't look like it, so we'll go ahead and pick the berries instead. Hopefully it rains pretty soon because we do need the um, extra food at this point. And you are going to steal that berry, I know you are, unless I can scare the bunny away with Rico. Let's see if I can manage to scare him away. Well, I, I think he's still going to take it. I don't want to waste too many turns trying to scare that guy, so we'll just let him take that. Um, we'll go ahead and grab this berry at least, and then we'll continue scooting these guys along. 
Sorry about that, guys. My game actually crashed. Apparently it wasn't too impressed with my idea of moving these guys into the savanna, but we'll try again. Let's see, Kalara, can you actually peek in this grass again? And then Kuvan, scoot on up here. There we go, that time it worked. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we lost um, much progress there. I think that was just um, the move that we were on, but that was very bizarre. I've actually never had this game crash before, so that scared me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll go ahead and uh, look at this berry bush at least so we have that available to us. And then Kuvan can continue just peeking around in here. We'll have Kalara scoot on up here and oh my goodness, she got so old all of a sudden. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know she was old before, but that's crazy. She is definitely passing away on the next turn, which is a little bit unfortunate. And um, it doesn't look like we have any sort of nests over here just yet. So we'll have to keep searching with Kuvan um, once his mate passes away, which is going to be very, very sad. But at least they're together. At least they're together right now. Um, we might actually want to move Meme up there to keep her father company. I'm not sure. I mean, we have Anna Isri on this bush over here, so this is kind of her job at the moment to keep it guarded from all of these bunnies. But I don't want poor little Kuvan to be all alone, especially if he's ambushed by any carnivores out there. So let's go ahead and have um, Neuroduke start picking these berries over this way. And then Meme, you're going to have to uh, grab up these as well. Um, I think that was actually one of the things that we lost too. It looks like little Rico is not over here protecting this bush anymore either. But I guess that just means that we have those turns with us um, right now. So we don't have to worry about running out of food. We'll go ahead and have Nukir Duke pick his berries too. And these bunnies over here are definitely getting very close. So let's see if we can snag one up with Anna Isri. We'll just uh, move the camera this way so I can hopefully see as we have Rovan kind of scoot back in this direction. Um, let's see, the bunnies all scattered. They all scattered. They heard my idea and they scattered off into the distance. So I guess we're not going to uh, be snacking on those guys anytime soon. But Rovan is slowly but surely making his way toward the shore. Hopefully we'll find something useful in that direction. And to do here, you once again need to start making your way up toward your family. So we'll gather up some more berries since we're definitely going to need some more turns for this guy. We'll uh, scoot him this way. And once again, he is stuck right next to this bush. Oh my goodness, to do here. I'm not sure if you're even going to make it up there before you end up dying too. Now we have this baby over here too. Dukir Ku, which is an adorable name and he has blue eyes, guys. That is actually a really nice combination. The blue eyes with like the the, um, orange kind of fur. I really like that. He looks very, very unique. And um, unfortunately, he didn't get that special gene. He just has immunity gene C and B in there. And I'm wondering, actually, it looks like um, my idea did not work. So immunity gene B kind of swapped up to his top section. So it seems like you can't really pair them up like that based on what's on the top and what's on the bottom. But that's okay. We'll just um, keep trying. I'm not sure if Anair is going to be able to give birth again, but we will give it one more try because we were lucky with Meme. So let's have Anakosi kind of scoot out of this nest. We'll have Anair scoot over here and then breed right away with Kier Duke, And we'll see if we can get just one more baby out of them with that special gene. And hello, little bunnies. You have come back for me. Hello. There we go. So we got a a little bit of food. Um, hopefully it rains soon. I am definitely crossing my fingers for some good rain. Um, Narrow Duke, you can actually move over here to pick this berry. You have just enough turns for that. And then I think all I want to do is just spread out the territory on this end. There we go. We managed to find um, this little bush too. This is our first different berry bush in the savanna. This one, once it does have berries, we'll be able to um, pick from this without getting hurt like the cactus plants. So this will help us out. It does have less berries, it looks like, than most of the um, actual berry bushes in the grasslands. But it is something. It's something that we can use in the future. Sairi, we can start moving this way. Um, just just so she'll be able to pick some berries as soon as she grows up. And let's see, Coco, you are also going to want to start moving up toward the swamp land so that you can pick berries. In fact, we'll put her right next to this one right here so that she can kind of guard that one for us. And I think that will be it for this turn, so we'll go ahead and skip to the next day. Um, something caught a bunny. I did hear that. So we do have a carnivore in our mist, um, somewhere. Somewhere in this grass. And there's poor little Kolara, who died right next to her mate. Oh my gosh, that is so sad. At least they were together, though. At least they were together. Now let's scoot up here. Um, good thing that's not a carnivore, because then we would have, um, a lot of trouble. And whoa! 
swarms of bunnies. Absolute swarms. Maybe we should put you right here so you're hidden from these guys. I wonder if that would work. Can we hide from the bunnies in the grass and then wait for them to hop close enough? We'll have to see if we can do that. And then let's see, um, there's some more bunnies over here picking my berries before I can even get to them. And we're going to have to quickly scoop up these, I think, before they uh, manage to get all of our swamp berries too. Oh yes, <laughs> here they come. They've managed to finish off this berry bush probably, so they're scooting on to uh, all of the ones that we are collecting from. And let's go ahead and grab this one too. And it looks like they all scattered from this area, so I guess uh, my plan didn't really work as intended. But there we go, we gathered up all of our turns for uh, this particular round, and then we can have Rovan continue to move out this way. Hopefully he'll find something, but I'm starting to lose, uh, lose that hope because we don't have many more tiles in this direction. And then to do here, let's see, where are all of the patches of rustling grass? We have one right over here. Uh, Mianami, maybe you could move right here and check. Okay, there's nothing there, so that's good. Um, there's a bunny there though, that's also very good to see. So Mianami is kind of helping out in her own way, even though she's not part of the bunny duty line, she is helping out this family that she's going to be living with very soon. And let's see, is there anyone down here? Um, oh yes, our baby! Oh my goodness, I can't forget about the new little baby. Look at you, you are adorable, Rila, and you do have the immunity gene. I feel like we're getting low on males again. We're getting a little bit low on males, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind too, because it seems like most of the babies that have been born lately have been females. So she doesn't have any patterns, though she does have the uh, blue eyes hidden away in her genetics. And that is very good to see. So she should hopefully help us out in the uh, breeding situation in the future too, because she does not have immunity gene B in any of her slots. And meme, let's see, can we possibly scoot you toward your father? I'm not sure if it's even worth it. I'm not sure if we should move her up there this early or not. Um, we do want to find someone who can continue on the line of a big eared critters because I don't want this side of the family to die. So we'll have to figure that out soon as well. But for now, let's have to do here continue his very slow trek up to his mate. Oh, you can peek at this berry bush too. I didn't even know that was there. So now we have another one in our sights at least. And um, Sira, there is still no bunnies coming out of this burrow for you to attack. Unfortunately, you have uh, had a very, very quiet life on top of this mound. So hopefully that'll change pretty soon. But I think that's it for this turn. So we'll skip ahead in the uh, days again. And there's that sound again. There's that sound, so there's definitely a carnivore lurking around here. We just have to figure out which area it's in. Um, I know there's a lot of bunnies hopping around in the swamp, so maybe he's up here? Maybe we should check that out? Mianami, could you possibly do the honors for us? Um, no, not up there, okay. Okay, well I guess that's good. We'll just scoop up these berries and then continue down the path. And um, let's see, anything that we can grab? Well, these guys are trying to grab our berries, so we always have to uh, grab them first. There we go. And then um, down here, we're also having the same situation. And hello, I honestly think these bunnies think that Meme is like one of their kind because they just come up here and like chat with her in the nest. <laughs> so we're just gonna slice you again, little guy, and then pick up your meat because we could definitely use you as a little snack. And there we go. I guess my plan did work because we managed to get at least one of those little bunnies. Kuvan, let's see. You can at least use your last days to continue poking around this area and uh, grabbing bunnies for us. So there we go. And there's that cactus again. There's that cactus. I mean, there's still about half of this area to go, so there's still a little bit of hope that we could find some sort of nest in there. Hopefully, he'll be able to explore it before he dies. Um, let's grab up some more of these berries in the meantime, though, and I think that's about it. We just have this bush over here. Um, Mianami, you can at least come up this way so you can protect these guys a little bit more with your claw, too. Um, and I think that's good. Some of these guys have actually grown up. So Sinise, you are grown. Kernuta is grown. I really like that name. Kernuta is a really nice name. Um, and let's see, I guess Sinise should probably come up here because she does have double berry paws. So we want her to be in the area where she can actually make use of those uh, two berry paws on her. And this little baby, Rico, is actually going to be quite the uh, same because she also has the double berry paws. So we might want to move her just like right up here for now, I suppose. So she'll be a little bit closer to uh, where she needs to be. And I think, once again, that might be it for this turn. Oh, wait a second. Hello. Hello, little guy. I'm still wondering where that carnivore is. I mean, if we just take a moment to kind of gauge where all of the rustling patches are, there's one over there. Um, and now everything's going quiet. What's going on here? There's just that one patch over there. Is that really where the carnivore is? 
Oh my gosh, that is like a terrible location right next to um right next to Kuvan. Oh, I hope that's not the case. I'm not sure if anyone could get there fast enough to save him and he's so close to the end of his life anyway. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go ahead and skip the turn, I guess. Um, there's nobody we can really scoot over there a little bit closer unless we bring Anna Isri there instead. Um, I guess we could do that because then Kernuta could come over here and uh, use this bush for himself and then Anna Isri can um, help protect her father and apparently picked up this meat. Oh, wait a second. This is where the carnivore is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we didn't we didn't kill any bunnies right there. There's no way that I would have forgotten that meat. Oh my gosh, Anna Isri. This is not good. I bet that's like exactly where the carnivore is. Okay, so let's skip the turn. Yep, there he is, of course. And of course it starts raining too, so at least we have um some food to pick up to hopefully save Anna Isri. Um, so let's see. Let's grab this bunny first because we finally had a bunny pop out of this burrow. Excellent. Sira is finally able to uh, start her job properly. And then I noticed that somebody died over here. Oh no, that was Anir, I believe. So she finally ended up dying to old age. But her children will be able to carry on her legacy as well since they were able to pass along those special immunity genes. So they are definitely going to be having a lot of children of their own. But let's go ahead and I guess bring Neuroduke over here so we can grab these before the bunnies. And then we'll have Anakosi come over here and pick as many as she possibly can with her berry paw. And then um, I guess we'll just start slicing this guy to see how much... Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> we want those berries for ourselves. Thank you. And I think this guy just scooted right past me, didn't he? Um, we'll pick up this and then we'll scare him away. And oh my gosh, <laughs> the bunnies. The bunnies are everywhere. I need to use her turns for the carnivore though. So I'm going to um, ignore that bunny and there we go. I mean, the carnivore gives us more meat anyway than just the little bunny does. So I guess that's not really a bad thing. But I'm glad that the carnivore found Anna Isri instead of Kuvan because that would have definitely ended his life, I think. So it's a good thing that um, his daughter ended up going up there to save him because she managed to distract the carnivore enough, I guess. And yes, I see you little bunnies. You are hopping all over the place once again. It is very hard to keep the bunny population under control, I've found. So um, we might want to actually change our attention here, kind of look up in the swamps instead and use our lovely berry paws to gather up as much of these berries as we can before the bunnies do. So there we go. I'm very glad that we have so many berry paws looking out for us in the swamps anyway. Um, we'll gather up these and now we have a ton of food again, which is excellent to see. A um, meme, you need to take care of your own bunny situation too because they really seem to look up to her for some reason. I guess she's just so bunny-like with those big ears. So there we go, guys. In the next episode, we'll definitely pick up this meat that the carnivore has left as well as um, some of these little droppings, these little droppings of bunny meat too because we definitely want those in our supplies as well. And um, we might as well have to do here just like pick up this over here. He does have a berry paw, so that's good. Even though he is incredibly slow, he has been helpful to the pack, so I can't really knock him too much. And at least he'll be able to protect Sira as she sits on top of her bunny burrow now. So thank you all so much for watching today, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!